be going over the process of how I draw a, a pencil portrait of somebody. Now, I don't quite know who this person's going to be yet, and that's usually something that I make up as I go along. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start. Let's say this person has a head. When drawing a head, the first thing I do is draw a circle, which is logical if you're that kind of person who does that. <laughs> if you're not, you some people I've seen draw the eyes first, and I've tried that several times, but couldn't get the rest of the face right if I do that. So I usually just start with a circle. Um, how about this person is facing toward us? So I draw a vertical line from the center all the way down to however long I want it. This is going to be the top of the head. Just thought I'd tell you. Um, it's not like the hair. That's not where the hair is going to come up to. It's where the hair starts. It's the scalp. Okay. Um, horizontal lines go like the bottom half of the circle. Not exactly separating it in, into two equal parts below and above. This is where the eyes, the general area of where the eyes are going to be. I usually decide where exactly later. At this point, the thing I do is shape the rest of the head around, starting where these this line ends, begins and ends, and I just keep feathering down from side to side until I have it curved down to meet the line below. And of course, I always shape the head based on who I want it to be and what gender I want this character to be because that really makes a difference. I'm uh, making this person have a very soft jaw, so it's going to be a girl, as far as I know. Um, yeah. Then I draw circles for the eyes. How big I want the circ how big I want the eyes to be, I draw that circle that big. Just to get the general feel of it. And then I would sometimes draw the eyebrows and get the expression first by kind of drawing it as one even line. Like that. Like, I don't finish drawing that. Um, but, like, let's see, I want to draw her with one eyebrow raised. Like, sort of like she's questioning something. I would have it like that. So now you can get the expression before the drawing is actually finished. And then I would draw the nose, which as default I would draw a circle right where the circle, giant one, and the vertical line meets. Just to get it squared off. And then just a little regular old line. Let's see, I want her to kind of be frowning a little bit, because she's questioning. There. So now I would usually make the choice of um, shaping her eyes. So this one would be narrower, kind of like that, and then flat, right here. And then as I go along, I will erase the guidelines around it, just so that I'll have more room to do, to draw what I actually want. Eyelashes there, and here, and then I would do the same thing over here, but different, as you can see. Eyelashes here, and eyelashes here. Just little brush strokes, like, from up to down. Up and down, up and down. From up to down. Not up and down. That would be not the way I do it. Then I would draw the irises. Since, let's say she's questioning and somewhat shocked. So, the irises would be a little small. Just to make the illustration seem humorous. And then here I would start with a little bunched up strokes and then kind of fading off here. And then erase what parts of this I don't want again. Let's 
same on the other side. And then here I will draw wrinkles, creases in the brow to indicate furrowedness. Then I would shape the nose. Usually with this circle, it's just good enough to kind of just shape what I want around it like that. But sometimes it would make it a little easier to draw one circle in the center, two smaller circles on the side of it, and then draw in between those and then up like that. Of course, based on what shape nose I want, but this is always the default shape of mine. Eva surrounds that. And then, I usually start kind of shading so I kind of sketch it around the bridge of the nose so I know what actual shape the nose has. Okay, at this point I don't like how far down her chin is, where her mouth is, so I would kind of alter the length of the jaw to match the chin. So I'm adjusting the size of her face. Alright. Um let's fix that. No, don't do that. I want you to be like that. There. Okay. Now I shape the neck. Let's say her head is leaning backwards a little, so yeah, she's gonna kind of lean backwards and to the left, so I'll draw her collarbone there, shoulders kind of fading off there, I'll complete the arcness of the shoulders, and then finish that later after drawing the ears, whatever shape I want because I'm not even thinking so I don't have an actual shape of the ear that I want so once I actually start and finish one then I just do my best to copy it on the other side if I can see it past my hand yeah okay just kind of like that Actually, they seem a little too small, so I'm gonna resize them. Ugh, Become larger. Things. Seems just a, like a millimeter of a difference makes a difference. For some reason, it seems like it does. Maybe it doesn't to you, but to me, it seems like it does. Alright, um... Her forehead seems to be like it should be this size. So I think I'll extend the scalp so that she has room for hair to grow beyond the forehead. So about here is where side rooms would be. Where do I want the part? Hmm. With three long, terrible seconds of thinking, I decided that I will give her two parts. And then, sort of like little wads of hair gathered that way, but bigger, just so that's more comical. There. Nice and appealing. Very stylish. Alright, I'd erase this, and whatever I don't want. Very sloppy, but okay. This is where the hairline is, drawing is a hairline. And then, giving the hair a lift where logs are not. Adding detail to the parts just so that I know that they are parts and not just lines. And the usual thing I do is just add 
leg or two just hanging down. And since this is, in fact, a sketchbook, I am not going to pen this illustration. I am going to just finish it with graphite, like I usually do. So I'll just finish detailing this. Alright, now she's starting to partially look like a drawing. Ah, shot my pencil. Let's see, she needs a shirt. Give her little pendants on the straps. Just kind of make it fade off down here since the drawing doesn't go that far. And maybe even a little choking necklace. There. Doesn't do a thing for her, but at least it's something. It should be more curved than that. And then I'll just keep sketching and arting and let me get my wider pencil. It's in here. <laughs> More land will be covered this way. Just keep going and going and going. Wait, wait, let's see. There has to be a light source. Of course there has to be. I'll make it right here. Right there. That's I'll probably erase that later, but okay. Just so that I remember that it's there. I make the shade of the hair kind of fade off into lighter in this direction. Keep going and going and going and going and going. Alright, now that that's done, I'll start shading the skin and the rest of her. So, based of course on where that is. Beginning here, I'll just shade the entire thing over. Never done that before. And then at angles that match the contours of the face, I shade and tread ever so lightly. Behind the nose. Right here, I guess, too. That's fine. Looks fine. Along the neck and shoulders. Past the collarbone. Behind the straps. shoulder behind this one and I'll just color in these and shade this and also this because I want this to be shiny Slightly, so as not to give her overly make made up face. And this ear, under the light. I guess I'll give her a little bit of my shadow. Take my trusty Q-tip, go over everything, 
blend it in so that it's not overly sketchy looking. Even into the highlights just so that it's not stark. I follow the um, pencil strokes too, this makes it um, Q-tip strokes matching the pencil strokes just so that I get it all. You know what I mean. And I take the side that's most dirtied up and then shade the darkest part of the shadows of the face that I want. Like here. And here. And I take the other side and just start over with the rest of it. Alright, she seems almost done. What I need to do now is clean up around the outside lines. Okay. Fix up the smudges so that they're not there anymore. Inside the ones of the eyes too, because they look like the same shade as the skin. Kind of redo what I want to so that it looks sharper. Kind of on the hairline too, because that's always fun. She's all done.